What's going on, world? It's your boy Gemini Brown here, back with another episode of Nalo Kicking Knowledge. Today is the fourth episode of our Mercury Through Science series, and we'll be discussing Mercury and Cancer. What's Mercury? Mercury is our analytical intelligence, how we read, how we write, our overall level of intellect. Mercury is our communication style. How do these words roll off our tongue? How do people feel interacting with us? Mercury is our skills, more specifically skills by hands. All right? What's Cancer? Cancer is the sign of mother. Cancer is the, so is the sign of nurturing. It's the sign of our roots, where we come from. All right? It's ruled by the moon. I can go on, but I really want to get into it. So let's do it. Mercury and Cancer. We love it here. Ugh. It's not like the most ideal position, but those of you who've been following me through this whole thing, whatever I've been saying, we got to find out what the depositor is doing. So I would say there's a great potential here, depending on where your moon is placed. So Mer moon is, Mercury is being controlled by the moon. The moon is, you know, our emotions. So the first thing that this says is that the person's intellect, their learning ability, you know, their communication style is tied towards their emotional being. So when Mercury and Cancer is in a bad mood, your that bad mood is going to be reflected through their speech. It's going to be reflected through their overall friendliness. If Mercury and Cancer is in a good mood or they're feeling loved, they're going to show that love, you know, with their Mercurian tools. Now, there's a, the imagination here, right? Because cancer, cancer does play to the imaginations because it relates to that fourth house, which I like to call the front of our minds, okay? <clears throat> it's our, our immediate psyche, our, you know, how our peace of mind. So... How do you get peace of mind here? Communicating your feelings. Whether this be verbal or written, you choose, or even artistically. But emotional well-being comes here through communication. So, one thing about Mercury is that <clears throat> in the terms of compatibility with others, it does, it works wonders. Like, uh, it's really receptive to other planets. So with Mercury uh, and Cancer, with well, Cancer relating to, you know, our roots, our relationship with our mother, Mercury, you know, being childhood in general, the native is what, what they learn in their childhood sticks with them. It becomes kind of like the values that they, they carry throughout life. And the, the sign the sign of their parents is very important. If the person with Mercury and Cancer has a parent who may be a Cancer Moon or a Cancer Sun or a Venus in Cancer, this is going to enhance the the Mercury and Cancer's ability to project that parental that their parents' energy. So, Moon in Cancer, the person has a, a parent has a Moon in Cancer. What this does is, you know. It shows the Mercury and Cancer person early on, like, wow, it may be okay to be sensitive if they see that a lot, you know, when their parents are being sensitive, right? Or if it's the son, you know, and like the mother or the father is a nurse or a doctor, this influences them, gives them like, okay, um, I want to do that. So this Mercury is very, very receptive. Mercury overall is receptive, but this one is really receptive. So. Pay attention if there's a sibling with cancer energy or whatever, this is going to have a huge effect on them. Now, like I said, the childhood is very important to these people and what they witness and what they learn sticks with them. And that in turn allows them, you know, to kind of pick their form of communication and how they, you know, want to convey their emotions. So not everybody Mercury here necessarily may if the moon if the moon is like in Gemini, of course, through this way, you know, verbally is 
it'll be kind of easy to do. But if it's if the sun is here in Cancer, maybe not uh, so much. If it's Leo, this is if the sun is in Leo. Oh my God, this is a great artist, somebody with so much artistic ability or potential. But the way the way to get the most out of this Mercury is to, especially the artistic parts of it, is to be in tune with your emotions. Seek to express them. Don't you don't want to bottle them here, all right? We don't Mercury and Cancer doesn't need to swallow the emotions. They need to put it on out. So this this can be a great position for somebody who is a uh, a writer, but like more so like a writer of uh, maybe you know parenting books or romantic novels, um, you know things things that help you get in tune with your emotions or. You know, like I said, whatever the sun sign is, it'll play more to that aspect. Uh, I've seen many, many uh, uh, Leo suns with, with Mercury and Cancer who are phenomenal uh, performers, dramatic performers, the ones that can cry on cue, all right? So there's a lot of creative potential here. But the downside is, say your moon is harshly aspected, right? Say you may have made a lead, say you have a moon in Virgo, square Neptune, or square Mars. This is going to make, you know, the, the communication or your emotional, your emotional tides very up and down. And you can't hide this from people because it's going to come out through your communication. But... Like I said, if you can figure out, like, okay, these are my, these are my tools to express myself, and this is what I'm going to dive into it. You know, but really, overall, it can make somebody who's a really, really good writer because the imagination is bright, the you know, the the will to write is there, but it's just going to be a matter of controlling the emotions or stabilizing the emotions to you know express that. Now, like I said, on the, the downside as well that if the moon is harshly aspected or even this mercury is harshly aspected it's just going to make it hard to overall uh, be be all in into learning so if you come from a home life where you know it's not encouraged for you uh you know to excel in school you're, you're kind of not going to care your imagination is still there it's going to work but you're not going to feel the need to necessarily uh apply apply this uh, I don't know if I said psychologist earlier, but um, it could be a great psychologist as well because you're, you know, this Mercury allows you to understand human emotions. All right, you'll study that. You'll see you. Uh, these people are excellent readers of body language. Okay, um, the into the intellect becomes intuitive. All right, and with the learning. You know, these natives are, they're looking for something that, that sparks that intuition. They're like, okay, this is, this is for me. So anything, you know, with moon and cancer is going to be up and down. So uh, it's always good to look at the transits to your natal Mercury and then also how Mercury is going for you. The, the transit of Mercury is going for you as well, because it's just going to show periods where you just feel like you feel blocked, but then there's going to be periods of great uh, inspiration. Uh, what, an interesting thing too here is that the per because you're tied to the past, right? The pen say this this uh, the person that has like cancer in the second house or the twelfth house, right? Uh, this can make somebody who uh, loves researching about their ancestors or you know takes a lot of pride in keeping you know family traditions uh you know alive and, and things like that so overall like i said the childhood has a major impact on these individuals and you know what is what is cultivated then becomes a cycle a, a subconscious uh you know effect of how you you know, train your Mercury. So for parents out there who have a child with Mercury and Cancer, if you want them to be, you know, intellectually or take school serious, start training them early. Uh, read them stories. Open up their imagination. 
The imaginative powers are really, really good here. And the ability to write with feeling and connect with others and communicate uh, with others is there. So I really, really like Mercury and Cancer, even though, you know, we don't like swimming in the water all the time. There's great creative potential here. So guys, this is my episode of Mercury and Cancer. I hope you enjoy. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, feel free to do so. If you need a reading, email me. So next time, peace.